Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fusion Industry Association channel. My name is Abdis, I'm a PhD student at Imperial College London researching atom scale modelling of fusion materials and I'm here with your latest Fusion News Roundup. Today is Wednesday the 3rd of September and our stories include 1. Commonwealth Fusion Systems raises 863 million US dollars 2. Inertia Enterprises launches with Department of Energy and LLNL support 3. Fusion funding and power purchase agreements ramp up 4. General Fusion raises 22 million US dollars and as always I'll have some bonuses at the end 1. According to a recent Commonwealth Fusion System press release, FIA member Commonwealth Fusion Systems has raised $863 million in its Series B2 round, bringing its total funding to nearly $3 billion US dollars. This brings investment in the global fusion industry to over $10 billion. The new capital will fund the Spark demonstration machine and the company's commercial Arc power plant in Virginia, expected to deliver fusion electricity in the early 2030s. Investors include NVIDIA's Enventures, Morgan Stanley's Counterpoint Global, and a Japanese consortium led by Mitsui & Co. Google has already committed to purchasing electricity from Arc. CEO Bob Mumgaard described the latest round as recognition that Konga Fusion Systems is making fusion power a reality. To Inertia Enterprises launches with Department of Energy and LLNL support. Uh, Axios reported this week that Twilio, co-founder of Jeff Lawson, together with fusion scientist Andrea Annie Critcher and Mike Dunn, have launched Inertia Enterprises, a new fusion startup. Optics.org has also covered the story, highlighting that the company has licensed nearly 200 patents from the Department of Energy and Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory. This is notable because the team includes leaders behind the National Ignition Facility's record-breaking experiments. It is another example of scientific breakthroughs moving into the private sector. It shows how fusion research is feeding into entrepreneurship. 3. Fusion funding and power purchase agreements ramp up. The Virgin Axis Pro both reported that there are now 53 private fusion companies worldwide, raising over $10 billion private funding plus 795 million US dollars in public funding. What makes this even more significant is the rise of power purchase agreements. Microsoft has won with FIA member Helion Energy to receive fusion electricity by 2028. And Google has signed with FIA member Commonwealth Fusion Systems for 200 megawatts of future supply. This is a shift from pure research to real commercial commitments. And it shows that fusion is beginning to enter energy planning for major companies. Four. FIA member General Fusion raises 22 million US dollars. According to TechCrunch BIV in a General Fusion press release, FIA member General Fusion has secured 22 million US dollars in new investment. Investors include Segra Capital and Penda Fund who will also join the company's board. CEO Greg Twinney said, this financing is a strong vote of confidence in our technology and our path to demonstrating a first-of-a-kind fusion machine. This funding comes after General Fusion reduced staff earlier this year and it provides stability for the company's LM26 demonstration program using magnetised target fusion. Our bonus stories today include recent FIA reporting highlights that over 2.5 billion US dollars was invested in fusion companies in the past 12 months, making it the strongest year since 2022. China's super steel for the best tokamak reported that Chinese researchers have developed a new steel alloy, CHS N01, able to withstand stresses of 1.5 gigapascals and fields of 20 tesla. This material will be used in the best tokamak project, which aims for a burning plasma before 2027. That's your Fusion News for 3rd of September 2025. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit like and subscribe and check out our Fusion News Extra podcast for more in-depth discussions. I'm Abdus. Thanks for watching.